I think the food tasting right. question comes to me, right? I think I think my blog is quite, ob um, uh, I mean, objective. There are there are some some restaurants which I them, and because I think they are not doing their customers a service. If your food tasting is already so bad, what happens to your normal days? And sometimes I would I would tell the PR, hey, I would write this about your restaurant. The service is not good, good. but I will try to balance it by writing some merit points about this restaurant. But I do have PR coming to me and say, hey, Daniel, can you rewrite your blog post? And the answer is 100% no, I won't rewrite it. I've previously asked Dr. Leslie Tay, you know, I eat, I shoot, I post, um, the food blog. Yeah, it's pretty popular. Um, I asked him during the interview, I asked him, um, so what happens if you come across a, a food place with like really nasty food? You know, then he says, um, no, he doesn't blog about it because he doesn't want to harm that company or its reputation. So um, if it's good, then you talk about it. Uh, if it's not, then you don't. But for me, what I do is I will mention what's good about the place, what's, what is not so good, and then finally, what is still good. So it's like a hamburger effect. Top and bottom is very good. In the middle, is you can, you can avoid that dish because it's really terrible. But you never know because um, everybody has different tastes. So like maybe someone else you know, might prefer that dish, but you don't. So let your readers know what exactly you don't like about it. So you can see why advertisers like Grace. She knows how to be very tactful and PR yeah, the whole situation. Yeah, I, I second Grace because I think you have to be a nice person to begin with. You have to be nice, you have to be a nice blogger. So don't be too diva-ish, you know. Um, I think that if you were to accept an invite, I think courtesy is to write about it. If you attend something, courtesy is to write about it if you decide to attend. But in the, in the event that is really very bad, like the event's really bad, or even the food tasting is very bad, then, you know, Grace, uh, or rather Grace's suggestion is very good to follow. Um, alternatively, like Daniel, you can feedback to the, because it, it helps the, the business anyway to get real uh, consumer feedback, and rather than putting a bad review out there, at least it's something that they can rectify or correct. I think this is, I think, um, basic manners in, in any business dealing. I will actually let the client have a look at my draft. And I, I think in all my blog avatars, I did write something negative inside. And I'm always very surprised that they actually let it pass, even though I wrote some negative things about it. Like your template. No. If the product is really good, then, then it's good. But if the product is no good in certain ways, it's not suitable for certain ways, if the food is not suitable for certain people, and I'll just, but yeah, I'll let them have a first draft. Sometimes I actually go back to the restaurant twice before I start writing about it. Of course, there's additional costs, but if the if the readers write to me, I'll actually write back to the, if I bother to, I'll actually write back to the restaurant and ask them to improve on all these, all these areas. So some bosses really know me, like I'm always complaining about our service yeah, all the time. Yeah, and then the bosses will, will, will share with me their side of the story. Yeah. Daniel's a real professional. I just thought that maybe we can end this on a fun note. So, you know, just now we just happened to talk about the sex, sex toy thing. So, just to pose a question to you, a hypothetical question. If I'm a, a, a brand owner for a sex toy and I want you to write a blog post, I believe everything have a price. How much would you quote for me to What's have you write, that, post, write, write that, that, that blog post? So, maybe from Pete, how much do you think What's something your like price? that is worth to you? <laughs> <laughs> but usually when you write now, how much would it be for a photo? How much would it be for a video? <laughs> how, much how much would it be for just text? I'm not telling you. <laughs> no, I think when you do a review, you've got to at least try the product, right? So, um, I'm cheap. I'm cheap. Right? You won't? You won't? Even for a million dollars, you won't do that? Oh, of course I would. Absolutely. <laughs> See, uh, there is a price to, to, to everything. So, maybe Grace? Um, just today I saw in the papers that some teenager sold his phone app to Yahoo, is it for like, what, 17 million or something like that? So yeah, give me, give me yeah, the same amount of money, I'll blog about your product and then I'll shut down my blog, that's it. <laughs> I'm a multi-millionaire already after that. Daniel? A food blogger no cannot blog about sex toys. So, no, no Unless, way, even, yeah, if, even if it's eat edible, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Integrity can't be bought for even a million dollars. No. Let's just clap for. <laughs> <laughs> Christine. Okay, I'll be honest, right? Because my 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 blog, uh, I think, has very often been associated as a sex blog. Sometimes, 
uh, due to the nature of the content that I write. It's nothing personal, but uh, and that's where I think I, I really stay clear in sharing like personal sex experience or not. I don't, um, but I am especially intrigued by uh, the nature of of sex or human relations. So you're doing it for free? No, not that. <laughs> Getting to that point, so actually I'm, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with how creative the Japanese are with regards to the sexual nature. So I write a lot about it because I go and read up their history, their culture and everything. So anyway, to the point, what is my price, right? To be honest, if I'm married, I wouldn't mind doing it. I wouldn't mind doing it for 500 even if I'm married because at the end of the day, I'm married, right? So I should be having sex. 